I think the concept of talking about integrated systems is uh, where we really need to be in order to in order to solve this uh, this energy problem that we're faced with. I, th I think the question is not about whether certain energy resources are better than other energy resources, whether coal is bad and wind is good. I think what we really need to be looking at and discussing is the responsible use of our resources. Some places have coal reserves and don't have much wind, other places have a lot of wind and not much coal. And what we need to do is we need to develop systems, integrated systems, that use byproducts and waste streams from other industrial processes and from the production of, our, of these resources into creating other resources. We need to close these loops. The most, um, so getting away from the conversation or the idea that we need to you know, stop burning coal, getting towards the concept that we need to be responsibly burning coal and what does that look like? So what, what we have done is we have, we're commercializing technologies that utilize slipstreams from coal power, coal fired power plants. So carbon dioxide emissions, nitrous oxide emissions, two of the largest greenhouse gas forcing uh, emissions that are out there. Thanks. And, uh, and feeding these into an offshore algal system, which also consumes sewage. So we feed sewage and CO2 into the system on which we grow the algae, and then we take that algae biomass and we convert it into a high BTU liquid fuel product. Our primary interest is in production of diesel fuel for the sole reason that, that diesel engines move about 98% of the global domestic product. So you know, even if we get to a point where we have electric vehicles or new, you know, new power grids, new transportation systems, things like this, we have to develop technologies that work within the existing infrastructure with, the, with all the investment that we've put forth to date in the highway system, in the railroad system, in the boats and all these engines and all the transportation systems and the grids and find a responsible way to make the energy products that make this work. And so that's our primary focus. So getting back to how we see algae as a way to do this and why we're so interested in algae is because algae is nature's most efficient photosynthetic organism and it consumes the nutrients that, are, that we consider now waste and we can turn that into a biomass product which we can turn into diesel fuel. And the way that we've developed our integrated system is that we're basically working with uh, an algae technology and a waste energy technology and putting these two together We've designed a system that consumes CO2 emissions from coal-fired power plants, sewage, and trash, landfill waste, municipal solid waste, plastic tires, things like this. And, and our only outputs, the only things that, that we get out of our system is oxygen, which the algae breathes, right? The algae releases oxygen. We get the diesel fuel, and we get fresh drinking water out. And so I think if we can work to commercialize these systems in new ways, in ways that are, that are uh, highly expansive, that are collaborative and open sourced, then we will be able to solve this problem, which is more, it's not a problem necessarily of resources, it's a problem against time. And in order to, in order to win, the first thing we have to do is not lose. And I think that's where we need to go and that's what we need to be looking at is what are our deadlines? How do we stop from getting to two degrees total of global warming? And how do we avoid these dangerous feedback mechanisms that are on the horizon? What can we do now, immediately, today? And how can we all do this together? And how can we share in our resources and our understanding and in an open source collaborative mechanism, release these technologies out to the world and work together to get this done? Terrific, that's uh, very inspiring. Um,